Hey y'all, welcome back to the blog and the YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about how to share your screen on Facebook Live. Okay, so this is a question I get asked all the time. I host webinars on Facebook Live, I have done free trainings on Facebook Live, I have just shared my screen while I've been doing a Facebook Live and people are always like, how do you do that? How do you host a webinar? How do you do a workshop? How do you share your screen on Facebook Live? Now there are several different ways to share your screen on Facebook Live and most of them are paid. So Zoom, the webinar version of Zoom is one option where it allows you to share your screen and um, host a webinar on Facebook Live. Webinar Jam will be releasing that ability in the near future. And then there are other paid accounts very similar to those that allow you to do that. But y'all know me. I'm going to talk today about how to do it in a way that's free. Okay, so we are going to be using OBS. It is Open Broadcast Software and it is available on PC and Mac so that you can share your screen. It's really nifty because you can set up different screen types and toggle between them throughout your presentation. So I might set up a screen type that's just a holding image that says we're coming soon and turn off the mic for that screen type. So I can start my webinar or my workshop or something a little bit ahead of time, go ahead and let people be watching the live, even though it's a holding screen, and be going about my normal business, getting ready, and them not hear me in the background. Then I can switch over to a screen of just my face, like I'm talking to you guys now. Um, if I wanted to, I could have like graphics on that screen where you could kind of, you know, see my logo and my website and whatever else. Or I could just have a screen with myself, whatever. I could also have a screen where I'm in the corner and my screen is in the background, so I'm showing things. I mean, really, the possibilities here are endless. So let's just get into it. I'm going to show you how to use this software. It's not easy, I will say that, especially to figure out, but I'm going to show you all you need to know to use it and you'll be using it as soon as you're done with this video. So go rock your Facebook Lives and share your screen for free. Okay, so to start things off, you want to go to obsproject.com and go ahead and hit the little download OBS Studio button. When you do that, OBS Studio will download and your computer will prompt you to install it just like any other software. And you'll notice here it is for Windows, Apple, and whatever this penguin is here. Not sure. Okay, so from there, once you download it, you will actually go into your computer and open up OBS. It won't look exactly like this because I have things in here already, but it will be blank and there will be a blank spot here and a blank spot here and that's it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete these so that I can start over with you guys and show you exactly what I'm doing. All right, so this is kind of what it'll look like ignoring this picture of me and getting started soon. What you want to do first and foremost is set up your scenes, which over here is this box on the far left bottom. You just want to hit a plus arrow and you want to think about all of the scenes you want. Do you want a holding screen? Do you want to be able to show your face while showing your screen? Do you want to just so show your screen? Do you want to just show your face? Like you can kind of play with that. We're going to do three different scenes and so I can show you kind of what each one does. So once I hit a plus, I can name it. So I'm going to name it just me. Now, on, when that scene is selected, you'll see over here that there are no sources. Every scene has its own set of sources. So because I want this scene to be just me, I want it to come from my webcam. So I want to hit the little plus arrow and I want to say, let's see, which one of these looks best for me, um, probably video capture device. Yep, that's it. And I want to say um, webcam. Okay. And then it will let me pick which one I want here. So now here I am in the screen. So you can actually drag this around so it fills the whole screen, um, whatever. And 
since we're not live, you can easily transition and what is being seen by the audience will now be seen over in the right hand corner. So if I hit transition, I see now that they're seeing, they would be seeing me, right? Lots of me's, lots of me's. Okay. So let's say I want to set up a scene where I want to show you guys my screen and also a little blurb of me. Okay. So I'm going to set up another scene and I want to say screen and me just because, you know, no creative names today. So screen and me, I need my webcam because I want to be on that, right? So again, with video capture device, I can add existing since I already added the webcam to that last scene. I can add it here and just hit okay. Um, and again, I can kind of drag and drop and see where I'm going to be on the screen. Now I can also add, I want you guys to be able to see my screen as well. So I can hit the plus button and do window capture. We're going to create a new one. And it's just going to say my screen. You can name it whatever you want. When you name it, it'll come up and ask you which window. So I'm just going to say that I want to show you guys this OBS software I don't, tab on my browser. And I'm going to hit OK. Now you'll notice I am gone. So you can kind of drag and drop those in the order you want them to appear. So because I want my webcam, I want to be able to see you guys, right? I want you to be able to see me. I want it on top of my screen. Whereas if I put it underneath my screen, now I'm in the back and you won't be able to see me. So let's flip those around. And then I'm going to show you guys, if you transition, remember everything you're building over on the left-hand side is just for you to build the scene. It doesn't, it's not, nobody's seeing that. Nobody is, um, it's not went live anywhere. And even if you're seeing it on the left, but you're not seeing it on the right, your viewers are not seeing it. Your viewers are only seeing what is on the right hand side of the OBS software screen. That's the actual live preview. So if I hit transition, now it shows what on the right, keep in mind what we're doing here, um, that I'm going to be in the top right hand corner and the OBS software screen will be in the main window. Okay. So I could see both things on the same screen. You don't, you don't show your audience what's on the left side of the screen until you hit transition. Okay. So you could select, you could be talking to them <clears throat> here. I'll give you this example. I could have this over here on the left hand side because I know that's my next step. Like I know that the next thing I want to show them is the screen of OBS and me, but right now I'm showing them me on the right hand side. So I could be seeing what I'm going to show them next, have it selected in the scenes, but they don't see it until I hit the transition button. Now, a question that I've gotten a lot is how I have um, set up a holding screen for my webinars that I'm hosting on Facebook Live and things like that. So I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to create this new scene and I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. The name I'm going to use is holding screen. Whoop. So I know that when I have that selected and that showing up in my right hand side, that, you know, all the things. Now, let me actually go back a little bit because in addition to wanting you and your screen and all of the things on the on the ones we've already set up, you also want a mic input. I apologize, I forgot that. So for the just me and the screen and me sections in my scenes, I wanna go in and do an audio input because I need for them to be able to hear me, right? And you'll see as I'm talking that down here at the bottom of the screen, there's a green bar going back and forth with my voice under mic slash aux. So that's the one in the mic that I'm using here. So I'm going to go ahead and just add an existing and choose that one and hit OK. So now I know they'll be able to hear me when I have this scene selected and see me. Now, if it's this screen with me in the corner and the OBS software, then again, I need a mic input. So audio input, add existing. And there we go. So now the screen any screen where they should be able to hear me has a mic input. 
okay? So now back to the holding screen. I just created the screen. It's completely black. You cannot tell there's nothing on it yet. What I want to do is I actually want to upload an image. You could totally do a video. If you had created a video that like counted down to like, you know, two minutes or whatever, however you wanted to do that, you could do that as well. But I am just going to do an image. You could do an image slideshow, do whatever you want to do. And I'm going to hit OK. Now it's going to ask me for my image file. So I'm going to go through and browse. So let's say I just wanted to use this image for my holding screen. I just wanted that up and I wanted anybody who came to my live before I was recording or on or anything to see that. That looks really wide. Now see, you'll notice that I wasn't seeing that in this big black bar over here in the in the editing window. Sometimes it does get a little like rough to actually figure out where everything's at. So I just kind of moved it over and then transitioned again. And now that's what they'll see. Now, I don't want to add a mic input to this because I don't want people to hear me yet. I'm not on the webinar live. I want them to just sit here and watch me um, or watch this image so that, you know, they know the live is coming. So this image could have easily said coming soon or, um, hey, we're going live in a minute or whatever. Now, that being said, I also turn the mic all the way down when I'm starting a Facebook Live because I worry that they'll still be able to hear me. Um, but, you know, you can kind of play with that. Okay, so what you want to do to actually start a recording and start a broadcast from OBS, everything we've done up until now has been completely dead. It hasn't been a live broadcast anywhere. We actually want to go in and we want to make it live, right? So first and foremost, I would put up my holding screen on OBS and turn off the mic on OBS so that when you do go live, they're not seeing anything they're not supposed to see yet. Then you can toggle through the screens and transition them as you want them to appear. So my natural order here is a holding screen for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on what I'm doing. Um, and then I transition to a screen of just me. And then I transition to my screen or, you know, whatever else I'm showing. Okay. So now what you want to do, you want to go to your business Facebook page. I'm on my Hey Jessica business Facebook page. And you want to go to publishing tools at the top. Okay. Publishing tools is now selected. You'll see all of your published posts, kind of, you know, what's going on, what's, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But what's really important is this videos section here on the left. You want to click videos and then you want to hit this button that says plus live. Then what will happen is you will get these random numbers. The only one you need is this stream key right here. So you want to select it and copy it and hit next. Okay, so it's going to show you like that nothing's really happening right now. That's because we haven't hit start in OBS. You can go ahead and title your or title your video, add tags, um, everything here, and it is not live yet. You can also add some text above your live video as well. And you can't hit the go live button because in OBS, you've not told it to go live yet. So remember, you need the stream key from this screen or the previous one we were just on. And then we need to go back over to OBS. And then you want to go over here in the right hand side in the um, right under the start streaming, start recording, studio mode, settings, exit. You want to go to settings. Now, pretty well everything in here is set up for you. I wouldn't really mess with a lot of this. You can go in and make sure that your mic is set up or your webcam is set up or anything like that. For the most part, it's all set up. What you need, though, is you need to go to the stream setting over here. You want to make sure streaming services is selected up here, and you want to make sure Facebook Live is selected here. You can also stream to YouTube and any of these other options that are listed out. But you want to make sure Facebook Live is selected. Then you can just use the default server. Now, the stream key we just copied over in Facebook, you want to paste it here. Once you've done that, you'll hit OK. Now, if you're ready to go live, literally all you have to do is hit Start Streaming and go back over 
to your Facebook page where you have that window that we were just looking at and hit go live. At that point, Everybody on your Facebook page will now see whatever's showing on this right hand side. So you can actually start recording as well and you can have it record what you're broadcasting. And when you are ready to stop, you will actually, you can do it in two ways. You can either stop streaming here. So as soon as I hit start, it will give me a stop um, option. You can either stop streaming and stop recording here on OBS or you can go into that screen. Again, the screen is here on, you know, the screen we just looked at on your Facebook page. You can go into that screen and hit end live. It's very, very, very easy to get out of it and to end it, you can do it two ways. So that's basically it guys. You create it all in OBS. Once you've set it up once, it's pretty well like the same almost every time. Um, you go in, you create a live in your publishing tools on your page and then you come back into OBS, put the stream key in, start streaming and hit go live on your page. Then from there, what I would recommend is that you have the live actually pulled up on your phone or of some something like that so that you can see the comments or you can share it or whatever, because you are going to be seeing the OBS screen um, and not necessarily Facebook. So you'll kind of want to have it on another device. Sometimes I have my laptop over to the side so I can see that. Um, so yeah, then what you can do too is, um, you know, share your screen so you can minimize the OBS software and have the screen up that you've already put in one of the scenes and you can be looking at that. Um, and also the phone comes in handy to make sure that the right things are showing up on the screen. Um, and all of that jazz. Cause the first time you use it, it'll probably be a little scary. So that's basically how you do that for free with OBS software. So yay. Now guys, um, now guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, click the big old button and hit subscribe because I would love to have you as a subscriber here on YouTube. And that way you won't miss any nerdy tech and business tips here on the Hey Jessica channel. Until next time. Bye y'all.